Yeah, I don't care about your rich. Why didn't I just go with this? <clears throat> it's a blight again. <sighs> Why? Why must you do this behavior? Isn't this like the third tomb that has been blight? Orange glyph? Come in with the orange glyph and then hook six survivors. What? Twenty-four motherfucking months, let's go. Also, Henlo, it's officially two years on Twitch since you got affiliate slightly smiling face. Okay, that's kind of amusing that it does the emoji thing, by the way. <laughs> uh damn it. Been close to that already. Hold on, I have that as a thing. I think I kept it. Actually, it's technically 23 months because they count the first month. But yes, it's that long. Shit. Oh, God. Oh shit, I need to look at Discord. Hold on. Because I have a thing quick. I don't remember where I put this in. Shit. Ah, there we go. Actually, isn't it close to three for uh, us? Because I know it's close to four, or it's almost four, that I've known uh, Couch and Jesse. Oh shit, it's going to be four years in November that I've known Couch and Jesse. Shit. And yeah, so it's almost it's three years. Not twenty twenty three yet, okay. That's not horrible for Yui. Okay, um, that's a 
thing. Ah, I got that one. Hey, Okay, I have to admit that Annie skin isn't horrible for Megan. What the fuck is wrong with me? I just said a Meg skin isn't horrible. What the fuck did they do to Ottermeen? Oh, no. Dwight just looks like shit. For his errand. Okay, Hanji's isn't too bad. That actually looks good. That is why I do it. Which is why quite a few times you'll hear me go, Megan. Oh, that. That's not new. And of course. Also, I have to show you something that kind of pissed me off when I logged in last night to look at some stuff quick. So, do we see a problem here, by the way? Look at my nurse prestige. Now look at Contras. And now here's the even stupider thing, by the way. The game has me credited with her being Prestige 3. Or the former Prestige 3. Because it gave me the uh, bloody mask. I didn't have that. She was Prestige 1? I believe. Whereas Nurse had literally every fucking perk in the game. She still has them, thankfully, or I'd be bitching majorly. But she should be higher than Bunny. And Ghostface, by the way, who actually was the Prestige 2. Because this is his outfit. This is what I had on him. Instead, now he's credited with being the former Prestige 3 and having it full bloody. Yeah, their system doesn't fucking work. Also, this... You see how uh, Trapper, Wraith, Mikey, Doc, Bubba, Freddy, Spirit, Legion, and Pyramid Head all have, like, the glowy scratch marks? That is their special reward for getting them to peep three 
But for this update, bravo, that sucks. Instead of some cool clothes like Legacy gets, dot, whatever, we get this. Yeah! Fuck you, behavior! <laughs> I am bitching about stuff from behavior thoroughly. Very thoroughly. Also, here's another funny thing. I didn't prestige nurse even once, and she still somehow says prestige five? Whereas, I, I have issues with the game right now. Also, <laughs> there's another thing that I have to bitch about. You guys know how I have ever had every perk in the game unlocked, right? For every character that would come out. If I'm right on something, I'm about to be extremely pissed. As here, I'll show the per a good example for this. No, it's right here. Trapper. Everything we know is unlocked because he's got his Prestige 9 nonsense, right? It has, you know, his shared perks. So that's every killer has those. Correct? We go to Wraith. It's the same. I don't see why Billy has it, considering he shouldn't be free. Nurse, yeah. Bunny, blah, blah, blah. Has it. Peg has it. Has, has. Come on. Where's somebody? Hold on. What do we see wrong here? New characters will not have them unlocked. So, they're basically telling me that I have to waste a fuck ton of blood points to get these fuckers to Prestige 3 to unlock their perks Again, by the way, on the characters that will be coming out. Because if I look right here, I have every perk pretty much unlocked. Except for some, for some reason, on the non prestige fucks. Hold on, I need to look at something quick. Did it be a stupid? So, it says I don't have them unlocked uh, when I look at Dredge here, right? 
disillusion, darkness, whatever. Hold on. And yet, he has the perks. Ooh, that's not fun, Jinx. Like, one, I will say one thing I'm glad for. I know I didn't have this amount of perks on characters. That I will say I'm glad for. However, I'm annoyed that I very likely have to get these shitheads to Prestige 3 to get the perks on new characters. And yes, it is the same with Survivors. The only reason I know about this bit is because I looked at freaking Survivors first for some reason. Because <laughs> I looked at, um... Meg. For some bloody reason. And I noticed I didn't have them unlocked. I'm like, wait. What? And yet, they're still fine. This fucking thing's weird. Also, I may as well take these off. Arm your friends is now useless. So that kind of annoyed the ever-loving hell out of me. But it, I actually have to add to this. Another thing that made me notice it, <coughs> sorry, is because in the shrine, I'm like, cool, I can, you know, get some blood points. Hovering over them, I don't see the blood point options. It's like, and then I get to Hangman's Trick, which says it's the only freaking one that I own and I would get blood points for. Even though I know I have all this shit. So annoying. I'm gonna test something very quickly though. With um... Um... What do you have, Doc? Damn, you have some. Wait, does... <laughs> you got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Hold on. They screwed stuff up even more than I thought. That's all good. Everybody can use to save stuff more often, though. I'm gonna test something with her blood web. I can't even finish the blood web with 50k. Fuck you, game. 
Anyway, I'm gonna look at, let's see, Spirit, Bunny, and Weijin. You know what? I'm annoyed. I'm gonna go fail at a match quick. Devour, Lullaby. I don't even know what the hell I have on her anymore. This is disappointing. I missed my blood point boost. Okay, good, that's changed. Ah, oh, shit. What did I have there? Uh, oh, that was Lightborn, wasn't it? Yes, okay. I'm gonna be a potato. So, Jinx is gonna get to enjoy this, because they get to see, uh... Bunny, as well as, you know, massive fucking potatoes. Now let's see how long killer keys are gonna take me. As if they're shitty nighttime cues for killer. Mm -hmm. Hell, if nighttime just has shitty cues overall, I'm not gonna be enjoying it. Just want to deal with that nonsense. Yeah, but here's also the thing, bro. Uh, Magical has the thing on where he only plays against PC people. And if cues are way too bad at night, I'm I don't see a point in playing it. Like I'd rather sit in another game lobby and do some stuff than, you know, sit waiting on both sides of this game to not be able to do a damn thing. I didn't want to send that. View profile. You see this? Oh no. This is going to be interesting. 
du lac. Pour leur côté lurk. Oh, somebody brought it. I keep wanting to say a cake. A swan. Oh, boy. Hmm, yeah, good luck. I want to say one thing before you do lurk. Did you see that I got a death the kid card? I'm, I was excited for that. You're stuck in here with me, buddy. <laughs> I think they realize I'm kind of fucking around. I say kinda. Uh. Oh. oh, hold on. Somebody was over here. Nice try, Dwight.
Fuck the ass. Jonah. I'm gonna grab this, but why not? at the start, but they became altruistic as fuck. Good for you, you had power stuff on. Now you die for it. to my right. Just because you're ace doesn't mean you're that quiet, my dude. Off you go, bud. the chest open up. Dude, that was a bad idea. It's not gonna mean shit. Some. Ah! Ah! Ooh, how'd that miss? What? Yeah, I can just chase you, bud. That shouldn't have hit. That should not have hit. Hundred percent should not have hit. Let's see. Am I gonna have patch luck? Get the hatch lock. Nah, I'm not getting hatch lock. Damn. Not gonna lie, I'm admittedly a little bit surprised that I got that daily gun. Why the hell was I doing a thing? Oh yeah.
<laughs> I forgot I had Devourer on. That's why I kept getting the speed boost. Oh my god. You can tell it's been a while since I played, right? I'm forgetting stuff. Three purple glyphs. Okay, whatever. Book seven survivors will use a mad crit. I don't care. First, I want to check this with the nurse. Yeah, so, I'm actually surprised. I legitimately lost nothing with her. Did manage to get that right, at least. However, one thing that I noticed from that, I think it forces you to prestige. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. And from the looks of it, I'm actually going to have to get these shitheads to, uh... that level up mark. So I'm not a fan of that, either. Eh, whatever. Uh, I'll live with it. I'll figure it out. Uh, which way? Cheap fat. Oh crap, that's what they have the Geostalker thing. Hey, at least he managed to fix it. That's a good thing. Okay, I didn't want to go for the, you know, the salty bit there. Um. Because, well. I wanted to test things. With the Ouija and apply the deep wound effect. Okay. I wonder if I could uh, be a shit with this. Oh, right. They didn't give me all the fucking perks. Huh. Do I want to be the toxic shithead? Oh, right. This is Salty Night. Do I have... I do. Huh. Let's do this just to be a dick. Hold on.
Damaging generators is 20% faster. Breaking walls is 30% faster. Uh... So there's quite a few things that could be a piece of shit with this. Why not? Let's beat the shithead. Actually, what do I even have for Legion cosmetic-wise? I don't remember. Now I remember why I was using this outfit for it. Actually, this has me wondering. If I'm actually going to be able to get the other, um, perks, because they quote-unquote aren't unlocked anymore. And I have to go through all these characters and, uh, unlock them the stupid way again. I mean, I get it overall saves you blood points, but it is extremely annoying that I have to unlock everybody or everything again. Or seemingly everything again. Huh. Sorry, I was looking at things. Which is why you guys probably lost sound briefly. I'm being a toxic shit who, um, well, you guys know what I did. One of my add ons made one of my perks redundant. Whoops. Am I going to be cursed with this map tonight? I do like seeing, you know, variety. No, that is the prestige system.
<laughs> you can't 360 me. I got stuck on a wall? What? You get off of that gen. breaking this now. Why would you run this way? This is not the good way to run. Oh, wait. Hold on. First aid. Oh, damn it. I should not have missed, but okay, game. That majorly shouldn't have missed. Sprint burst, gamer, huh? Why do I always find you here? Yeah, no. You can try. That's not gonna work. I hate this map on Legion right now. I have not played them in way too fucking long. Way too long. I saw scratch marks. not to go after the frickin' thing. She has quick and quiet, which isn't a surprise at all. Tyler is fucking killing me. He 
god, this map is pissing me off a little bit. Yeah, it's been way too long since I've played Legion. I do not like this map. Uh, they didn't have time for that. Yeah, too big like you did anything, Quentin. Or Steve. They didn't have time for that door. Unless they have wake up. I have to see if uh, he had wake up. They shouldn't have had that door open. Whatever. But nah, Jinx. Uh, they have kept the... Um, the rank system, even though it's hidden. And what they now show is basically the character's... Um, prestige level if you had them at p3 before this update then you would have them at quote unquote prestige 9 and you would get the uh like little scratch mark border thing that the you see on the certain killers here it's not the best way to show that hey look they did something a long while ago in this case a short while ago but they're doing it anyway. Look at this. It's saying darkness revealed. It's the dredge part. If I go here, it's saying it's not unlocked. This is bugged. And that is probably the best way to say it. that or it's allowing me to have them unlocked still because i had them unlocked prior to this um change oh that perk i forgot about that thing See, now they've made... Okay. Uh, can I get a character there with the points that I have? Uh, no, I can't get a character to show that right now. Um, hey? No. I had somebody close to... Thing up, I think. Uh, who was it? No. Billy, you, you can go away. Um, I don't know if you were looking when I leveled up Nurse. Again. 
Uh, they made me prestige once I had the the quote unquote fifty for it. I didn't get an option to have like an actual blood web. The prestige thing came up, and it now costs twenty thousand to prestige a character. Like the actual prestige button, it costs twenty thousand. Which, it shouldn't cost anything. I mean, it's a far improvement from the 50,000 that they were testing on the PTB. But that's besides the point. Uh... I will give them the fact that overall, it costs significantly less than it used to. But that's still kind of annoying. And right now, I currently think that them showing that certain things are quote unquote locked is bugged due to the fact that if we go back to my blade. I don't have demo at P2. I don't even think I have him. Okay, never mind. I, sorry, I didn't have him P2. He was Prestige 1, and the game put him up to P3. Uh, fine, the best bet would be Dredge's perk. Uh, what the fuck was it? It's either the Dissolution or the Darkness Revealed. I got that. I'm crackhead. From one of the blood webs. Ah, uh, which one was it? Okay. Deathbound. Was it the tier two? Hold on. to find where stuff starts. <laughs> or Dissolution Tier 1, even. I don't have that. Or I quote-unquote don't have that unlocked by their glitched thing. And yet, it's on there. Same with uh, Plaything for Pinhead. I sure as hell don't have him leveled up. That's his alleged second perk. So, you know, the game is got some stupid bugs. I need to fix this. Hold on. There we go. Also, one thing that I want to point out, because I can I have to find the perks, so. Um, it should be around here. You know how for a while it showed certain perks? By that, I mean the Stranger Things perks as generic perks not owned by any character and you could just freely get them take a look at below the perks name for what it says it is for this is another little thing they have done um that semi-indicates that we might be getting a Stranger Things chapter back. 
or at least a new one in the future. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I've told you the thing or not, but a couple, I think it was like a week or two ago, maybe three. Uh, Matthew McCoat or whatever his name is, the dude from Behavior, that I think we did a pretty good job so far, me and the guy. Um, him and some Netflix cronies. I don't remember their names. But that's why I'm calling them cronies. Um, they followed each other back on Twitter. See, that wouldn't be such a big deal if it weren't for the fact that after DVD slash Behavior lost the rights to continue to sell Stranger Things chapter as well as all the cosmetics, they stopped following each other. So, they or them following each other back again a bit back ago is another thing. Then there's a thing for mobile as well as I think it was PlayStation, where for a very brief period of time, the cosmetics were on sale again on the mobile store, and then the chapter was available in the PlayStation Store for a brief bit. <laughs> You're not wrong. And also, I would love to have two new Stranger Things killers come with one new survivor. But here's the problem. don't know how they would get two out of what has happened. I can't say much uh, without spoiling. I mean, they could easily get one from Stranger Things Chapter 4. They couldn't really get a second. from uh how can i put this because i'm i don't know if you've watched season three i'll have to put it this way i don't think they could get a thing from season three very easily considering it's basically a mix of what they already have and the possible thing that they could get <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I could, I could kind of recap it. Season one is good. Season two is dog shit. Season three is pretty good, and season four is great. That's not the recap. Season two by far is the weakest and worst season they've had. <laughs> um, but no, uh. Let's just say there is possession of a person who kind of helps bring upon one of the quote-unquote big bad characters. That, and there's a bunch of there's a Russian thing um, or a Russian secret bunker in a mall that there's a front for and stuff hey good game <laughs> uh, sorry if it seems like I was telling I just kept finding you with the uh, uh the Frenzy. I clearly have not played 
the game in a very, well, I can't say a very long while, but in a decent bit. <laughs> oh no. But the, that's not exactly wrong, though, Jinx, for Season 2. You can basically skip Season 2. It's almost inconsequential. <laughs> uh, what games do I have? Spirit. I don't want to play Spirit. Fine, I'll play Spirit. Oh god, I have to play Spirit. Oh no. Thank you, thank you. And you as well. I hope your uh, night or day has uh, went well for you. <sighs> I'm going to be a massive potato here. Simply because I haven't played Killer in too long. Uh, hmm. could do a thing. Yeah, I have to remember what the dredge perk is. Hold on. Okay, good. That one. That's the thing I want to do and test stuff with. For the most part. Um, let's see. Uh, there we go. Brain is sort of going, as we can tell. By sort of, I mean not at all. There, there we go. Did this get buffed? Why did I think this stuff buffed? No. I'm just gonna go to break things extremely quick, because why not? I need... Uh, brain, apparently, because I can't remember anything. Holy sh... <laughs> oh no! Yeah, that's fine. Why does that actually sound decent? do this. You know, I'm gonna just bring in the thing from last year, because why not? Right? Get some points. Getting as barbecue no longer gives the additional bonus. Which, as much as it's not needed anymore, it kind of sucks. Admittedly, that's a huge reason why people used it. And now barbecue is going to go the way of the dodo. Because there's now much better perks. Same with farm your friends. AKA, we're going to live forever.
these Q times are aggravating. Oh. Hola. View profile. View the profile. <laughs> oh no. I love this person's name. That's. <laughs> they don't try. I'm going to be disappointed. been a mix. I haven't played in too long. At least on the killer side. Like, I've played here and there, but other than that, I haven't played killer regularly to, to have uh, good grounds to go on right now. Extremely rusty. She sure wasted that pallet. shouldn't have known where I was. Really, Boone, already? Okay, she knows where I am all the time. That's kind of annoying. Like, she shouldn't know. Also, screw your boo. You're disgusting.
Where did the one over here go? What the fuck was that? Game lagged me for no reason. Oh, I see scratch marks. Really? They're pre dropping shit so fast. Now, this is annoying. I am way too rusty at this. Way too fucking rusty at this. I don't care if that gen gets done over there. I'll be in a very bad spot. I already am in a bad spot, but that. <sighs> I'm me playing like a fucking potato. You know, these boons are pathetic. Okay, you get the slug. You get to stay slugged for the time being. I have no objection to bleeding you out and slugging you. I really, really don't. Move, dumbass. You are altruistic as fuck. Okay, now they're just trying to be toxic. Get the fucking no. And balance landing. No. <laughs> Why 
one of you fuckers better at breakout. No. You didn't have time for that. This, uh, Nia is starting to be fishy to me. And it's extremely pissing me off. If Nia doesn't have certain things, then, um... I have questions. You're a little cunt. You better have certain perks there, chick. Because you would not be getting that otherwise. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, get the fuck out. You and your uh, suspicious squad are uh, pin in the ass. What are you doing, Fang? Things giving me the kill. I'll take it. But if those ones didn't have stuff, I'm questioning things. Bunny, arigato. I do not like playing killer right now. I want to see what they have. I want to see. Game, I don't care. <laughs> uh, let's see. The amount of times she got away with that. They didn't actually have a profanity or a proper profanity filter. Their filter blocks out stupid shit that it has no reason to block out.
like if you say I think it's one of the fog whisperers names actually or far or uh, former fog whisperers names because I think they dated him um Ooh, excuse me uh you will have it censored Yeah, exactly. You can't say tunnel or shit like that because it's offensive in the Fire River. Ha! Ha! Oh shit, that's actually good for this build. Why didn't I look at things? Like, literally, if you say some other shit, it will censor it when it should be censored. But some stuff that, you know, should be doesn't get it. Yeah, apparently, according to, you know, behavior. Actually, can I get this thing? Hold on, I might be able to show you what I meant by uh, the prestige thing, but... See, it forces me to. I don't get a blood web. It literally forces me to. But I don't get a blood web. And then it costs money. So now, because I did that, I can't get uh, anything else on her. And if you see, it fucking costs 20,000 to do it. Then you're never gonna get perks or anything else on them ever again, and you're gonna run out of stuff. It is the stupidest change. Because now it forces you to prestige. And it costs money to do or their in-game money to do it. And it's 20,000 to every time you want a prestige, by the way. And if I was right for what I looked at, it goes up to Prestige 100. So, just do the math on that one. An additional 2 million blood points. Get it for Prestige uh, every time... Well, not every time. Uh, if you get a character to prestige 100, just spent on the bullshit prestige force levels. It shouldn't cost anything to prestige. And you cannot change my mind on that. Like, see, if I never prestige did the thing again, I would have what I have left. That's it. I mean, I have a good amount of stuff. I mean, I'd have it anyway. Because you don't lose it when you prestige. But. Once all of it ran out, I would have nothing left. No, don't hurt the table. Hurt the developer's face who thought of that stupid idea.
pretty much. Like, hey, you want to upgrade something? It costs money to upgrade it. Guess what? Now, you get a pay to upgrade your, your in-game characters things just to get more stuff if you want to. The fuck? Hmm. Everybody's a console player. Or not, um, on Steam, I should say. Good on them. Very good on them. And if the thing I just banned isn't a bot, they can, you know, request an unban. In all honesty, though, this is, um... Hmm. As much as I like some of the changes, I am not having a good time with Killer because I have not played it in too fucking long. Uh, typically, if you go to their profile, they will have, or in their about section, they'll host either Alien Gathering, Electrical Longboard, FR Weed, um, and a couple others like that. My sensitivity feels off and I don't like it. And quite often, funny enough, they will have a picture of a generic uh, female and um, yeah. Already. Fuck your totem. That hole just saved his ass. Oh! 
I just got cock blocked by a hole. Seriously? Typically, those are our bots, yes. they have an insane amount of followers in the time in like a very short time of having their account made dropping these so early right now. It's kind of redundant. Not, not redundant, just more annoying. Dude, this isn't a good spot for you to be looping right now. That should have been a grab. Like, that one was made in, like, February or something and had, like, way more followers than it should have. Yeah, guess what, girl? I want my... Where is it? Where's that little purple fucking slime thing? So he just ran that way. Potato. Uh, honestly, I don't think so. I haven't noticed. They screw your totem. You use crutch perks like you're fucking dying. Ah! I 
can tell you, he probably has spine chill. I just want my purple glyph and to smack a few people in the head. Yeah, that's based on how it used to be. I'm not chasing her right now. to fix that. Thought Steve was back at it. That was a grab game. Come on. I even saw the grab for it. Like the animation. What the hell? I see grabs are still completely broken. Joy. Uh, let's see. That's how it should be. But, this is behavior we're talking about. They can get him. I don't care. I want... Where's my stupid fucking glyph? Hello? one does move. I wanted to hook him so I could see where my glyph was. Because that glyph is a pain in the ass to find otherwise. Aww, I can't open it, really. 
That's lame. The blue glyphs on the survivor side are the biggest pains in the ass, though. Well, I can't say that. Purple is very annoying because they move. Blue blinds you or uh, makes you oblivious. Oh, look. Wasted blood points. Just for like two extra little tendril bullshit. Thank you very much, behavior. For a useless prestige system that costs points to do. When it really, really, really shouldn't. Or here's an example for uh, the... Actually, I have to check. Hold on. Trickster, not prestige. Here we go. It says it's locked. Crowd control, right there. It says now prestige 2. No, oh, prestige 3? What? Whatever. It's there. But, Blood Web, it's right here. And yet, people hoard the blood points with multiple, multiple pages of archives. Like, if I wanted to, and I went back, I could do every single one of these that is unlocked and just hoard the blood points. do that with every single one of these. What's this challenge? Oh, that one sucked. Screw that. Like, it is extremely stupid. Hey, look, we don't want people to have more than X amount of blood points. Let's give them a way that they can save the blood points and hoard them for a very long time. Because they never expire. They don't think. Like, look at this. I still have stuff on the first tomb that I could do. Simply because they were a pain in the ass. And the first tomb was the biggest pain in the ass they had. I could do every single one of these. Like, if I did this one, and the rest, I could save, let's see, 60, 105, 165, 210, 270, 330,000 blood points just on this page with six things alone. I'm not counting this one because I ha would have to do this to do that. 330,000 blood points, 380, 410, 460, 510,000 blood points with very few on the first two pages, or the last two pages of the first tomb. And I have multiple pages on every tomb, except for the fourth one, apparently, where I could just do, oh, and six, where I could just do so much stuff. I have a few million blood points saved up if I did these things. But I'm lazy and some of these challenges fucking suck. Like, look, 60, 105 there, 150, 210, 270. Uh, like... 
that's on one page. With just this page and that one page of, or sorry, the first, the last two pages of uh, Tomb One, I have almost a million blood points. Here, look. Let's add to the third page of this. Another fifty, eighty. I'd have to do this one so it doesn't count. Uh, hundred and thirty. I'd have to do one of these. So, 190 with this page. I could do all three of these. 35, there's 70,000. No, that's 60,000. And there's that 95,000. Again, I'm over a million. With just a few page, uh, very few amount of challenges on uh, tomb three and one. If I go to uh, the second tomb, here, I'll just do these two. 20, there's 50,000. Uh, 60,000, 95,000, because I'd have to do those two. Yes, you can. Uh, I'd have to do one of these. Let's see, which is the cheaper. Okay, look, there's 100,000. I'd have to do those two. 150,000 on that page. Uh, that's 60,000. I'd have to do... I'd have to do that one. To be able to do this one. So, 60... 120... 165... 200 plus thousand here. <laughs> I'm almost at 2 million blood points saved up. Theoretically, with just the three, uh, with just the pages that I haven't done on the first three tombs. Page four. Let's see, I would have to do... Okay, let's say I do this one, because it's less amount of points. 120, 165, 210, uh, no. So I have to do this, to do this, to do that, and that. But really, I only get these two. 105. Like, it's not hard. I don't know, 200,000 with just this page saved. Easily, you could get close to probably 5 million blood points with just what I have. Just what I haven't done. Okay, which one's cheaper? This? No, they're the same price, so who gives a shit? So, 105,000, 150, 195,000 on page 4 here. 100,000. Well, that's obvious. 35. Uh, 50, 75,000 on this page, so I'm getting about 500,000-ish from this tomb, what I haven't done. Page 6, I'd have to do this, and I would have to do this. So, 60, 105, 165,000 with three things on this page. Sixty thousand. Why the fuck? Okay, ninety-five thousand between the two pages for what I have left. Oh shit, this one's almost completely done. <laughs> Who the fuck do I have to play as? Flag. Oh, that's why I didn't finish it. And then Trapper on this page. This one, I almost had many times and I got fed up with it. Yes, I'm figure. I haven't jotted everything down because I don't care to. This one can fuck off. I don't like that challenge. 
70,000. No, yeah, still 70,000 for that page. Uh, I could do everything on this page. So 60, 110, 140, 170 on that page. Let's see. 90, 150, 210,000 there. So yet again, I'm getting a lot of blood. I would have a lot of blood points just saved up with this. What the hell is this one? Uh, why didn't I cheese that? What? Hit a survivor suffering from exposed status effect with your weapon one time while using Starstruck. I could just do Perma 3 Mikey with that on my fucking build and just smack him. Why didn't I cheese that? Ew. <laughs> Uh, 50, 100,000 on that page. 105 there. Yeah, the challenges are fucking stupid. Here's where we would really start getting more blood points because I didn't, I haven't played much uh, since the start of uh, Tomb 10. 25, 55, 105. 155. 100. No, 200. Shit, I actually have to figure out what I'd be able to, or what I would have to do here. You have to do those two. 60. 105. 150. 195. Hundred and fifty five two hundred thousand on this blood pit uh page. Yeah. Easily I have pretty much five million ish that I could get on top of the two million cap. And here's the thing. I also have these that I have to do, which I have done nothing really on this entire one because I haven't given a crap. And then we have the current tomb that just started as well. And then to make matters worse, or better, depending on how you want to look at it, if you look at the store, the Shrine of Secrets. If people have, which technically I should have all this shit, but whatever. Uh, if people have everything again, and they have a shit ton of the shards, this is 400,000 a week. For 8,000 shards. And some people have upwards of 200,000 shards. Because they have no fucking life. They could just do this shit every week. Because chapters come out on a Tuesday, they could get... And the DLC is typically before uh, the day resets for the Shrine stuff. It's usually like 11 a.m. Eastern Time for DLC drops. Uh, they could get the 400,000 additional blood points for that. Wait till 6 p.m. Eastern. No. 7 p.m. Eastern when the day resets and get an additional 400,000. Behavior, don't think that shit through. Ah, oh, fuck you again. Nemesis. I definitely don't have his perks, allegedly. Eh, yeah. I 
actually, if you give me a minute, I can look at everything again. And yes, I know, I'm not doing too much playing right now, but, oh, fucking well, I'm looking at the exchanges they did. I forgot they changed Monster Shrine into a Scourge Hook. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh fuck. Can I collect my challenge? I did. Good. Draw, uh, destroy 25 drop pallets, hook two different survivors within 60. Fuck you. Break generators. Actually, what's the current thing? Damage six generators. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, give me a quick minute. Because I will find um, this. I don't care about your gameplay stuff. Barbecue. They literally just removed the blood point bonus. Corrupt. Uh, deactivates if a survivor enters the dying state, aka. They just get downed. Unless it's been two minutes, then it still gets taken off. Chlorophobia, which is a clown perk for the anti-healing. Uh, healing skill checks move 50% faster for survivors under the effect of the perk. Not a big difference. Dark Devotion. Now enters, or now triggers when a survivor loses a health state by any means. Was just basic before it was just basic attacks, and now, um, if you're bunny, you can hit your obsession with a hatchet, and they would have dark devotion, which is their terror the killer's terror radius, on them. That's a fairly good change, admittedly. Uh, eruption. Increased generator reduction when a survivor enters the dying state to 10%. They increased it from 6. Uh, they also increased the duration of the incapacitated status effect to 25 seconds at max. Prior was 16. Noed, they... I don't like the Noed change. Is revealed to the survivors. Uh, the Hexodom's aura is shown to the survivors at a range of 4 meters. Range is increases slowly over the next 30 seconds to 20 me uh, to uh, 24 meters at total. They just that is stupid. I do not like it. And then the updated massively nerfed ruin. Once any survivor is killed by any means, that includes disconnecting. By the way, because it counts as them dying. Ruin r is gone. And reverts to a dull totem. Ah, uh, it's got at the max tier. It has a hundred percent normal regression speed. Oh well, Jolt. All they've done is remove its cooldown, which that itself is a massive buff for the perk. Knockout recovery speed is reduced by twenty-five percent for survivors under uh, the perk effect. Lethal Pursuer. They added uh, any to high in a survivor's aura is shown for a period of time. Its duration is increased by two seconds. Basically, Deer Stalker, Nurse's Calling, uh, Lethal Pursuer itself, uh, Barbecue and Chili, a bunch of other ones. There, I know there's a few that I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Uh... 
So now at the start of the match, if a killer has lethal pursuer, the survivor auras are shown for 11 seconds. Which, by the way, distortion does not cover that time. Monster Shrine is now completely reworked. Is now a scourge hook. Grant 20. I'm going by the max tiers of stuff, by the way. Grant 20% faster entity progression if the killer is not within 24 meters. Basement hooks count as scourge hooks. So basically, this perk now tries to combat um, camping. But why would a killer bring it anyway if they're going to camp? No, I completely agree. They screwed Spine Chill over for people who have disabilities and use it for their purpose that it is, you know, intended. And then there's a couple other ones, I think, that are completely screwing over them as well. Like, it's not a good look for behavior. Um, overcharge. After overcharge is applied to a generator, its regression speed increases from 75% of normal to 200% normal rate over the next 30 seconds. So basically, this is just a massive buff. Because it still gets the overcharge skill check. Um, it's just... Better than ruin all around because you can't lose overcharge. Pop changed its regression to only 20% of current generator progress. Um, before it was 25% of the total progress, so that is another nerf. Which, admittedly, not a bad thing. Uh, gift of Pain, increased healing and repairing speed, penalties up to now 16%. Pain Resident, removed scream effect of survivors repairing the exploding generator. Generator will still spark. But, that is a good thing, because that was a shit ton of information that killers would get from pretty much every fucking perk if they chose to so getting rid of stuff like that is good in my opinion and then you get things like uh upgraded thanatophobia beforehand it was a five percent per injured person at max leading to a potential 20% decrease in speeds of survivors. Now, it's a 5.5 per uh, injured person, leading to a 22% increase. That 2% is still nasty. Tinkerer technically got a nerf. Which is also a good thing, depending on who you ask, uh, in that it can now only be triggered once on a generator. Um, borrowed time. Well, we know how that one's went. Botany knowledge increased the healing speed bonus up to fifty percent. It was 33%, but it makes medkits go f away faster, like their charge rates. Uh, Tom Spirit, increased chance to avoid alerting throws to 100%. That's at base. It was a 80 at the base. Oh, well. Let's see.
No, you're not wrong there. You're definitely not wrong there. Um... But I like, I admittedly like how they nerf Dead Hard. It now actually takes skill for people to use to time that fucker right. Uh, Calm Spirit got an additional thing where it allows you to open chests and cleanse blessed totems silently, but at, at max to your 30% reduced speed. Here's the thing. There's already perks that allow those options that are better for what they do. Like, if you look at Pharmacy, if I remember right. Or was it, um... An LED perk. It allows you to silently search chests as it is. Tom Spirit's kind of blah. Who cares? Uh, Dark Sense got a bit of a rework. Each time a generator is completed, Dark Sense activates. While Dark Sense is active, with the killer entering a 24 meter radius around you, reveals the aura up to 10 seconds. Once the aura duration expires, Dark Sense deactivates, yada yada. Uh, the effect triggers if the killer is already within 24 meters when the perk is activated as well. Which is a good thing for solo people and what <laughs> general better activity for it. Uh, Dead Hard, they remove the dash slash dodge slash gain speed or gain distance from the killer. It now just gives endurance for half a second, which is what I kind of agree with the the nerf on that. And it, why I say it takes skill to use it. Uh, the animation is still there. DS, the perk and its effects are disabled if the gates are powered. So, pretty much, if some a killer is camping somebody on a hook, and a team opens an exit gate that is nearby, try and get the person out, thinking they have DS, it no longer works that way, thankfully. Uh, but, it will also now get disabled when the survivor performs a conspicuous action... Uh, defined, they say it's defined earlier in the patch, yada yada, which is like totems, healing generators, healing other people. Uh, can't remember if that's going in lockers or not. I can't remember, honestly. I haven't paid too much attention to stuff admittedly uh the stun duration is now decreased as well um it's now three seconds instead of five which is a good thing um hey Ali. deja vu got changed a bit it now gains a five percent repair speed bonus on the generators revealed by the perk which that's actually not too bad because each time a generator is done it reveals i think it's the three closest or furthest away from it to help prevent three genning uh distortion reduced the starting tokens to three it was four uh let's see Oh. Now, distortion works when you're in a killer trap, too. Okay. But they also added that you can regain a distortion token every 30 seconds spent inside the killer's terror radius. But distortion may not be allowed to have more than three tokens at base still. And they've added an audio cue when a token is used. But that won't do too much for the hearing impaired. Uh, they changed hope. 
Poke used to be that I think it was like two minutes or ninety or ninety seconds, something like that. Uh, after generators were powered, you would get I think it's a five percent speed boost. Now they have removed that time limit. So basically, once generators are done, you get the speed boost permanently. Which is a good thing. Uh, inner focus, which is I think a Hattie perk. Removed the distance restriction on seeing the scratch marks of other survivors. Basically, if you're running the perk, you can see it when a survivor is running across the fucking map. If you can see their scratch marks. So, if they're in a chase and you're not blind, you will be able to see a whole lot based on that alone. Which, that's kind of strong, admittedly. People who know how to use it. Uh, Iron Will. Reduce the grunts of pain to a maximum of 75%. It was 100 but prior to 100 it was 75%. So basically they just reverted it. And it does not work while you are exhausted. And it does not inflict exhausted. So expect to see a lot of exhaustion perks or exhaustion add-ons as well. Yep, pretty much. Um... Lightweight. Increased reduction of scratch marks duration to 5 seconds at max. So, pretty much... Hold on. Okay, they disappear faster from that. To 5 seconds, it was 3 seconds. So they disappear 5 seconds faster instead of 3. They also added that scratch marks are spaced more inconsistently uh lucky break for each one second spent healing another survivor increase lucky breaks duration by one second lucky breaks oh okay so basically they added a way for you to get Lucky Break back up to what it was at base. Lucky Break at base. Whereas you don't leave droplets of blood and I think you don't moan for 90 seconds while injured. I need to look at that quick. Give me a quick minute and I'll tell you exactly what it was. Uh... Lucky Break activates anytime you're injured. While Lucky Break is active, you won't leave trails of blood or scratch marks. There we go. It's not the moaning. It's blood and scratch marks for 60 seconds. But now, anytime you heal people, you get time added back to the ability. So it doesn't just go kaput when it's done. That is actually a decent change. But it's going to be kind of annoying if people don't know what the fuck it does. Alright, they had that how it was for way too long. Um, no one left behind. It now triggers when the exit gates are powered. It used to be triggered when an exit gate was opened. So basically, once generators are done, this perk gets powered up now. Uh, when unhooking a survivor, they gain 7% movement speed bonus for 10 seconds. Here, I will look at that one because I don't remember. Uh, you get 100% additional blood points for unhooking... And healing other survivors. 50% bonus action speed when healing and unhooking. Okay. 
and the auras of all survivors are revealed to you. That's actually a good perk now. Shit. Okay. That is actually fairly decent now. Uh, off the record. Once you are unhooked or escape from the hook, off the record activates for 80 seconds. Again, going by their max tiers, so their max values. They added the endurance status effect. Um, off the record gets disabled when the exit gates are powered. That way you can't abuse it as a free escape. It's essentially a massive borrowed time, but you can only take the one hit with it because this perk was being massively abused and paired with Medal of Man on the PTB to get insane amount of stacks for Medal of Man and still be able to take more hits because the endurance effect would be there for the entire 80 seconds after getting unhooked. They have been altruistic all night. From what I have seen. So off the record got a decent change, but it's also a good thing because it's kind of, uh, eh. As it was. Uh, overzealous. Another Hattie perk. Increase the repair speed buff to 8%. It was 6. So basically if they have this. This is her totem breaking perk. Where if you break a totem you get additional uh, repair speed on generators. Which is a good thing. But it's also a very bad thing. At the same time. Because, here's the reason I say this. If the killer is using a hex build, and all the survivors are using overzealous, which, it's not likely to happen. But here's, here's the problem with it. If a survivor cleanses a hex totem, that 8% speed buff jumps to a 16% speed buff. They double it. So, here, let me find... Uh, I need to find it. Overzealous. I need to find this build. I don't think Spine Chill works with this anymore. Let's see. Okay, it kind of does work with it, so I'm just going to add it. Anyway, because why the fuck not? Nah, nails on a chalkboard is the worst. Uh, here, I'm also going to add... Crap. What is it? Build the last. Uh, increase the repair speed. Okay. Yes, for half a second afterwards. Okay, so let me do this math very quickly for you, okay? If you are injured... Wait, did I put the fucking thing on? Yes, I did. If you are... If you have a hex totem broken with overzealous... You have a 16% bonus right there, okay? 
With resilience, that is now 25. Spine chill, if the killer is looking directly at you, it's 31% additional boost without the add-ons or my item for repair speed. Now, with the engineer's toolbox, it increases the repair speed by 100%. So you're going to get a 72% repair speed buff. Not to mention the 30% added on from the socket swivels for 102. And then the clean rag for 122% additional repair speed. And you can do this multiple times because he look built to last like run resilience overzealous and all that with these and uh, built to last it's fucking bullshit the gen speed is going to be insane especially as I said if a killer is running an all hex build and every survivor has this nonsense. They could do generators so fast, it's not funny. Like, they might need to ter uh, tone some things down. Just saying a little bit. Um... Pharmacy got an upgrade too. Now guarantees an emergency med kit in every chest when you're injured. So if the chest is unopened or you have uh, the LED perk, the rummage, that, uh, you will be guaranteed to get a med kit. So that is actually a very good balance on pharmacy. Well, I wouldn't say balance, but it's very good to get med kits when you definitely fucking need them. Just run pharmacy with, as I said, the rummage or whatever. Hell, throw on uh, plunderers and you're basically guaranteed to get a purple med kit. Put built to last and street wise on. That's going to be broken. Saboteur. Uh, Scourge hooks now have a yellow aura when a survivor is being carried. So basically, they have done... The sab they have buffed Saboteur. Uh, to now directly attack Scourge hooks as well. <laughs> it could very well be done. People would need that perk. So they have reduced the self care speed again, by the way. Uh, it was 50% before this at max tier, it is now 35% of the normal heal speed and it reduced the med kit efficiency bonus so basically med kits are just med kits instead of addition getting like an additional x amount of charges with self-care uh soul survivor when you're the last survivor alive gains 75 percent action what Hold the fuck on. Oh no. Oh. Fuck. 
If you are the last survivor alive, you happen to have a hex totem and are running resilience, just these three perks alone are a hundred percent boosted for repairing generators. Throw in the engineer's toolbox, socket swivels, and the clean reg, you get 250% repair speed. Holy fuck! Oh no. I want to test that. I want to see how fast that would fucking go. <laughs> oh, that is nasty. Two hundred and fifty percent possible repair speed with that build. Holy shit. Yeah. And here's another thing for it as well. It kept the fact that every time another survivor is killed or sacrificed, gain a token. Each token reduces the aura thing for it. So if all three survivors are dead that aren't you, uh, your, the aura at the thing cannot be read by the killer if they're outside of 24 meters away from them. Wait, is that? No, hold on. Red within a minute. No, if you're in the... T okay, this is... My brain's not working anymore. Shit. Uh... Uh, hold on. <laughs> Pretty much. Huh. Okay. That's not bad. My brain can't function and figure that out right now, but that's going to be good. Uh, tenacity actually got buffed. So now, not only can you crawl faster when you're, you know, dying and, you know, heal. I want to make sure I'm, the, I'm right on this thing. I don't fuck that up. Yeah, you can crawl faster, heal at the same time, but now, your cries are reduced by 75%. Basically, it added Iron Will to you being on the ground. Which, I remember when Iron Will worked when you were on the ground. People were pissed. So the fact that they added it back, I'm surprised nobody has commented on that yet.
that's actually going to be a very good perk for, you know, my bullshit build of, where the fuck is it? Yeah, this power struggle, I wish they had a search function. No, not you. Uh, where the fuck was it? There we go. Well, yes and no. Iron Will st uh, still works uh, when you're standing. But if you're exhausted, say from like head on, sprint burst, um, life, balance landing, stuff like that, the Iron Will will no longer be activated. So if a killer has exhaustion add-ons or an exhaustion perk itself, like say Fearmonger or Mindbreaker, whatever the fuck you want to call it, uh, it will not work anyway. But now Tenacity with, you know, my Power Struggle, Flip Flop, and Unbreakable. That's kind of nasty, and I love it. Because you can crawl away faster, heal yourself up much faster, and gain the progression to your Struggle Bar. All while getting the fuck away from the killer if he goes to chase the, another survivor for a small bit. It gives you the time to hide, pretty much, get to a pallet. I like that update, honestly. Uh, we're gonna live forever, aka farm your friends. They reworked it completely, they got rid of its bonus blood points. Uh, when healing another survivor in a dying state, which they already had this bit, by the way. Uh, the healing speed is increased by 100%. Additionally, performing any of the following acti uh, actions activates the perk's secondary function. Perform a safe hook rescue. Take a hit to protect a survivor. Rescue a survivor by stunning the killer with a pallet. Rescue a survivor by blinding the killer. Uh, when the perk secondary function is active healing another survivor out of the dialing eh, dialing <coughs> sorry dying state grants them endurance so basically you're gonna give them bo oh fuck you you now give them a 10 second to basically borrowed time and it deactivates the secondary thing afterwards hold on i have to check something Huh. That is something. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of stuff that I can test with this right now. Okay, hold on. I'm reading their progression thing because they kind of changed it a little bit. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, so I've been putting points into characters that I haven't had to. 
bastards. Yeah. It says, no existing perks, items, or cosmetics will be lost if they are already unlocked on a character, even if having them would contradict the rules of the new system. So basically, I have my stuff, but the game sa says that I don't. So, characters like Mig here, for example, because I already unlocked them with the old system, and it says I haven't with this system, the old system is taking priority for having the perks unlocked. So I should be able to get them on new characters when they come out. Uh, the blood point cap is raised to 2 million, like we know. Blood point categories are now raised to 10,000 each instead of 8. So you can get up to 40,000 blood points in a match. Which is a small buff, but it's a good one. Prestiging no longer removes anything, yada yada. Teachable perks have been removed from the blood web. That point is kind of annoying. Level 51 in the blood web requires you to prestige the character. I don't like that. Prestige 1, 2, and 3 unlocks the perks. 4 to 6 is the bloody cosmetics. 7 to 9 is the charms of the perks. Uh, existing players will have their characters granted prestige levels in the new system based on the following. Plus 2 additional levels per existing prestige level. Okay, yada yada. Uh, prestige 1 will now have plus 2 levels, resulting in Prestige 3 in the new system. Okay, that kind of makes sense. If the character has 70 more or more perks unlocked, counting each tier of a perk separately. Uh, plus 1 for 70 to 119, plus 2, 120 to 169. Okay, so here's the problem. My nurse... Hold on. She was tier 5. Okay, they put her as high as they could. Because I didn't have prestiges on her. Okay, that makes sense now, I guess. For why she's lower than- or was lower than Countress. Considering I had prestiged Contrance, um, but now, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. She, because Contrance got prestige levels, like the prestige bonus levels, and then additional perk levels. Okay. Uh, existing unlocked teachable perks will immediately grant access to tier one. Uh, hold on. Existing unlocked teachable perks will immediately grant access to tier one of that perk on all characters if no other mechanic has already granted access to the perk. Okay, that makes more sense for why I have things. Good. Good, good, good. Because if they didn't, that would be a giant fuck you to people like me who had perks but just because of getting the characters the level of 40. Uh, I did a unique crest. Artwork for each prestige level. Who fucking cares? They suck. Characters who are already at Prestige 3 on the old system will unlock a bloody Prestige portrait of the character selection screen. Oh, you can toggle it on and off. Okay. It's 
Ew. What the fuck? Teachable perks have been removed from the Shrine of Secrets. Technically, but not really. Purchasing a perk on the Shrine of Secrets now immediately unlocks that perk on all killers and survivors at the displayed tier level. Tier 1 still costs 2,000 iridescent shards. Tier 2 is 4,000. Tier 3 is 6,000. What the fuck? Was it really? No, it's not. Oh shit, it is. Why does this one cost 2,000 though? I think it's because I already have it. Okay. Okay, having the perk already available via the prestige system discounts the price. The same perk may be purchased multiple times on a single rotation of the Shrine of Secrets. So basically, if you don't have a perk unlocked and you really want it, max tier, on everybody, and you have the shards for it, you can flat out buy the perk with the shards. That's actually not a bad change, admittedly. Um, purchasing a perk that you already have at tier 3 will convert the iridescent shards to 100,000 blood points. They kind of nerfed that a little bit because that was 150,000 beforehand. Uh, it can only be done once. Shrine of Secrets rotation per week, maximum of four times on a single rotation, blah, 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 blah. Assuming you have all four perks, so you can't just spam getting blood points by already having the perk unlocked. You can only grab that once at max tier. It won't give you a shit ton of blood points just by spam buying it. Good. I don't blame you on that one. So here's the thing that has been kill switched, by the way. Matchmaking incentives have been added to the game. That is kill switched. No. And the reason it is kill switched, it is bugged and fucked up. The reason it is bugged and fucked up, I saw it last night. I hopped on for a little bit. It had the bonus incentive to play as Survivor at night. Do we see the problem here? Survivor queues are shit. Playing more people playing a survivor would just make the times longer. The incentive should have been on the killer side. For my instance. Because typically killer queues are so much fucking quicker. Uh, the matchmaking incentives, by the way, will always be 100% bonus blood points for playing the role that has that incentive boost. So, theoretically, you could get 80,000 blood points in a match because of the incentive. That's without additional blood point boosters. Exactly. So many people are going to do that. And I mean so many people. And the thing is, it also goes for your quote-unquote MMR, what is needed at that range. So if your killer range is needed, you will get the, bon the bonus for playing killer. If it's needed in, say, Survivor, you will get it for playing Survivor. Which I actually like. But it is not available if you have crossplay disabled. So you can get the blood points, like the additional ones, but you will not get it if you have crossplay disabled. So Magical isn't going to like that one. Uh, let's see. Here's another thing, which I just said. Players can also expect queue times with a large incentive bonus to have faster queue time. That's kind of expected. 
as it's needed. And here I will show you typically where it will show up. Because it says matchmaking incentives will appear on the main menu in the lobby next to the thing. So if we go back... You guys can't see my mouse, but... It will appear next to whichever one is needed right now. So right now... Typically, there would be one for playing as a killer. You would get something like 100% bonus blood point incentive shown right beside it. I would get that incentive to go with it. I like that update. Admittedly, I really do. Uh, they've updated the UI layout to accommodate the new prestige crests bullshit. Who fucking cares? Character info button has been moved now to the left instead of the right where nobody fucking paid attention to it. Uh, replace the character swap button with prompts with the previous slash next button in the lobby UI nonsense. Which is this shit. Okay. So, for how it is for the incentive, um, say you get like 20,000 blood points in the match, even with just farming. Or max blood points, which is now 40,000, you would, because it has the incentive, you would get bonus blood points, and if it's 100% incentive, you would get 80,000 blood points for that match. So basically, yes, the game is paying you to play whatever has that incentive. You don't have to try shit. You just get paid by the game to play the role that is needed. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is interesting, by the way. They had to optimize the performance of the game a bit. Because Doctor has one of the largest impacts on the game itself. Because of how much goes on with him. They had to... Wow. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, here's a bunch of stuff we already knew. Uh, reduce the prestige note. This is changes from the PTB, by the way. Uh, they reduced the prestige node cost from 50,000 to 200,000, or 20,000, sorry, 200,000 would be insane, fuck that. Uh, they increased the blood point category caps to 10,000 per category for a uh, max total of 40,000 blood points for a match. They increased the blood point cap from 1 to 2 million. Uh, let's see. Rules for converting prestige bubbles from the old system to the new system have been made for more rewarding. They've worded this weird. Have been made uh, for the maximum starting point of prestige 9, which we have seen with multiple characters. We worked the prestige portrait reward for players who had already reached prestige 3 on a character, which would now be prestige 9. Pretty much the reward sucked. Uh, they reworked the prestige chart perk charm visuals because beforehand they were just some uh, red charm with the perks icon on it. Basically, they were dog shit. They still kind of are dog shit, and by that I will show you what I mean. From said dog shit, I have to remember if they're purple. If the no, oh, here we go. Uh, this one's easiest to find. Here we go. It's still dog shit. Why do I have balanced landing as the charm? And this is barbecue and chili. What? <laughs> oh no. Well, I found another bug. 
It's only showing balance landing. <laughs> oh shit! It is only showing balance landing. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I have to test this on a survivor. Hold on. Hold on. I need to see this. Meg, I don't care about you. Uh, customize. I'm changing this anyway. <laughs> it's bugged on the survivors, too. It only shows the one perk. But you get the gist of it. It's the purple perk with the icon now surrounded in gold. It's still dog shit. But that is amusing that it is glitched that badly. <laughs> it really would be. Actually, here, let me do a quick test just to see something. Because I don't think I have the charm. Oh, crap, I do have the charm center. Hold on. Roichi. Yeah. Fuck it, I remember what was on there anyway. Okay, where's the charms on you? Right there, good. Okay, so from looking at it, it actually shows their proper perks when they're equipped. However, if you want to view them, it shows balance landing. <laughs> what the fuck, man? That is so janky. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> Oh, that bug. I know, right? Also, it's funny because I can't actually see the, um, that prestige reward on my survivors due to the icons that I have for them. Like, you can see the little bit of a red border around uh, Dwight, Claudette, Nia, David, Fang. But you can't actually see it like you do with my killers due to what I have with my killers. It is meh. Like, it's literally just some scratch marks. Well, that's kind of amusing. Uh, let's see. Changes from PTP still. That's been said. That's said. Crest visuals. Received a lot of feedback on the PTP able to grind, not being reduced enough, then only focusing on a few characters, especially in relation to the cost of prestige node on the blood web. In response, they have reduced the blood point cost of the prestige node as well. 20,000 as raising various blood point caps to allow for more blood points to be earned, stocked up, and spent. If people were smart, they could have a fuck ton from, you know, past archives. But that's nor here nor there. Uh, additionally, adjusted the transition rules for prestige in the system in such a way that players who reach prestige 3 in the old system will immediately be prestige 9 and thus unlock all associated perks, cosmetics, and charms immediately for the character. Endurance no longer stops a survivor from going down if they have deep wound. Oh shit. Okay. So basically... That's not bad. Yeah, that's a slight legion buff.
that legion in its entirely now wow Ooh, that's nasty i think people once they realize things there is going to be a ton of legions being played uh the did hard endurance duration on the ptp was one second they split it to 0 0.5 off the record is now disabled when the exit gates are powered. Thank fuck for that. Overcharge's regression has been reduced to a more, I guess, stable state compared to what it was on the PTB. Because on the PTB, uh, it was a max of 400% regression. It is now... 200%. Overcharge was basically Ruin, Pop, and several other perks rolled into one when it was that strong. Uh, Botany Knowledge now has the medkit efficiency penalty of 20%. So basically, if you have a med kit, you get penalized for using it if you have botany knowledge. Uh, spine chill now has that terror release feedback. Inner focus no longer has the distance restriction on viewing scratch marks. Which, on the PTB, I think it was like 32 meters. Now it's you can see them as far as, you know, you can see scratch marks. Um, inner focus... Yeah, death note. This is from it. So many instances where survivors were able to queue up several instances of endurance one after. This is on the wrong thing. This has a asterisk note under inner focus when it shouldn't. It should just be its whole other thing. Um, here, so I'll read it as such. On the PTB, they saw several instances where survivors were able to queue up several instances of endurance one after the other and being able to tank far too many additional hits i mentioned this with the off the record uh changing endurance do not trigger when a deep player has deep wound effect uh will prevent this from being or from happening pretty much um as survivors will now need to mend the deep wound in order to benefit from endurance a second time off the record was also proving to be too strong during the end game, or in general, since there are no required conspicuous eh, conspicuous actions at that point. Yes, there is. It's touching totems. What the fuck? They're not that bright if they don't even know their own game. Sorry. Uh, and now we'll disable once the exit gates have been powered, aka once generators are done. <laughs> okay. Who wants to have a laugh at this one? This is bug fixes. Fixed an issue that caused players to experience rubber banding during the gameplay. Um. Um. Didn't we get that tonight? Didn't I see some survivors get that tonight? <laughs> okay, this is an interesting uh, bug fix, which I wish I had seen. It fixed an issue that caused the dredge's head to clip through the camera when teleporting to a locker. <laughs> Aw, you fucks. They nerfed space, or they broke space Billy again. Fixed an issue that caused the hillbilly to be able to use his momentum to reach inaccessible areas. Fucking leave Space Billy alone, assholes. It's a meme. The entire community loves it, okay? Fuck off. Uh, fixed an issue that caused the artist scanning crows not to reveal killer instinct on survivors in the dying state. <laughs> His head does look like a ball sack. You're not wrong. 
fixed an issue that caused Lucky Break Perk to activate during the camera pan at the start of the match when having no Mither equipped. Okay, so that's like three seconds for a camera pan. It loses that. Okay, oh well. Fixed an issue that caused extra fatigue duration from chain blinks on Nurse to be unaffected by the Nurse's Catatonic Boy's treasure add-on. I don't even remember what that is. Fixed an issue that caused the aura reading effect from the knockout perk to apply to survivors that are downed by other means than the killer's basic attack. So basically for a very brief time, if a huntress hit you with her hatchet, you would have that effect. Or if you got chain... Oh, excuse me. Sorry. If you got chainsawed. Fixed an issue that caused the skill check wiggle UI to briefly appear after succeeding a decisive strike skill check. That would be annoying. Um. Oh no, that would have been fucking broken. I'm glad that got fixed. Otherwise, they would have had to kill strike or whatever DS. Uh, they fixed an issue that caused DS. To remain active indefinitely if the killer is stunned when the kill uh, when the skill check what the fuck is this wording is stunned when the skill check need is in this listen I know English isn't good for people but what if the oh my god Who proofreads this shit? Um, fixed one that caused the invigorated status effect from the clown's afterpiece antidote to no longer, or to last longer when exiting a gas cloud as it activates. Okay, a clown had an issue. Oh well. Fixed an issue that caused Legion's feral frenzy combo not to reset when blinding. The mid lunch. Oh. Okay, that's a wraith bug. Basically, it's a walker opening speed with the uh, add on. Ew. Fixed an issue that caused the healing progress bar. To remain on the screen after the healing action is completed when affected by a hemorrhage. Right now I'm just reading the dumb bugs that are the bad bugs that would have been annoying. Uh, let's see. Huh? Fix an issue that caused cleansing a totem while under the broken status effect to still activate inner healing or inner strength when the broken status effect ends. Um, basically, from what that says, they could have inner strength have the totem, like, so it would be active. And when broken status ends, it would just heal you? Oh, shit. How was that a bug? Okay. This isn't a bug, you idiots. It is part of your fucking system. Okay. Hold on. Let me show you a thing for why I'm saying this is part of their system and not a bug. Okay, 
The perk itself right now says gain the endurance status effect for eight seconds after being healed or having recovered from the dying state while cursed by a hex you can fully recover from the dying state it may only apply once every 30 seconds so that means you can pick your ass up once every 30 seconds with soul guard if there is an active hex and you are cursed by it right these idiots oh my god here's what they quote unquote fixed that is not a bug it's literally just a part of the perk um, fixed an issue that caused survivors to recover in uh, what the f oh no you dumbasses either their wording is fucked or they don't know shit about their own perks how they have this worded it makes it sound like it doesn't or it works with plaything and pen pimento when it shouldn't but it should because of them being per uh hexes their wording is scuffed fixed an issue that caused the haste status effect icon to be missing when affected by devour hope okay that's not a big deal Ooh. Ah. So undying. For the bug, reveal the survivor auras when they're near a boon totem, too. I mean, yes, it's technically a totem. But. It's also no longer the killer's property. So I guess that's a good thing. Fixed an issue that caused the deathbound perk not to get progress to the punch drunk achievement. Okay, that's a Sony thing. Um. Oh. Oh no. That would have been game breaking. Fixed an issue that caused the pig's ambush dash animation to freeze when hitting. It doesn't say what. Then there's a bunch of missing animations. Ooh, the hag add-ons were non-functional. Or some add-ons were non-functional. Uh... Certain Bubba add-ons non-functional. Ooh, that's over-functional for uh, Freddy. Oh, wait. No, hold on. I read that wrong. Either way. <laughs> uh, so, here's an issue that's not really... A bug gets their own coding and wording. They fixed a dock issue for when people were in tier 2 madness uh, that made it where the calm add on doesn't match the description of what it's supposed to do. That's their own fuck up. That's not a bug. That's you being idiots. In this game, may as well be. 
fixed an issue that causes the flashbang and the firecracker items to be unusable when running downstairs. Okay. Fixed an issue that caused Streetwise Perk to remain active in the area when the survivor with it is sacrificed, killed, or DC'd. That's kind of a powerful bug, and I'm glad that's fixed. If, you know, people knew about it. Fixed an issue that caused the Adrenaline Perk to give progress to the Generosity Challenge? Okay, so that's healing other people or some shit. Fixed an issue that caused the Heroic Virtue Challenge to gain progress with the Killer Disconnect. I don't remember what that challenge is. Uh... Nah, that's not good. Fixed an issue that caused the kinship for not to give clear feedback on the perk that's active. Kinship? What the fuck perk is that? I don't remember this thing. Oh, fuck, I forgot this perk existed right now. Yeah. I guess there's two perks that start with a K. What the fuck does this thing do again? Oh, oh, that... Oh, shit. Fixed an issue that caused Nemesis prestige outfit to have a hole in the hand. Okay. Oh, that's. They need to do better quality testing, I guess. Uh. Oh no. That has to be a um a mobile version thing. Or the tutorial. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that's some bad bugs. Shit. That is nasty bugs. <laughs> That's an amusing glitch. Oh, that would have been nasty.
That's some bad bugs. Uh huh. Uh. Damn. I'm gonna wait a moment. We'll read these. <laughs> better come back want to know some uh, nasty bugs because we're just getting to some good ones one i think is in either uh mobile or the tutorial if not they just admitted to something that uh i don't think they wanted to so this bug in particular it says they fixed an issue that caused survivor bots to toggle their flashlights rapidly that has to be either mobile or the tutorial but here's the problem if i'm remembering right there is no flashlight bot in the tutorial so did they just admit that they put bots into actual matches If so, that would explain my teammates more often than not. Because holy fuck. Like, I'm pretty sure they just admitted they put bots into actual matches. Because they wouldn't have this in, you know, the patch notes for a mobile when it's two different teams. Pretty much, but also at the same time, it's just bad for your team because the bots are ass. Uh, they also fixed an issue that could cause the daily rituals screen to soft lock your game aka you would have to crash it to get it back up and going again uh they fixed an issue that could cause a loss of progress when launching the game on this patch for the first time exactly we know how bad it can be with bots for teammates uh, fixed a issue that caused items, add-ons, and offerings to not be lost after a trial. Oh well, who fucking cares? Um, fixed an issue that caused the legacy character customizations to disappear after rebooting the game on 6.1. Now, I have a problem with this. 
Oh, okay. I have a problem with this legacy statement. If they can fix it to make people's legacy items come back after this patch, why the fuck can they not give legacy back to those who fucking earned it in the first place? they can do that they should be able to give people their legacy back it wouldn't take much either it's coding not difficult coding either like add x string of code that says you know the legacy stuff or whatever the fuck it is for their code what their code says add to x character on x account Hello? That, that, I don't think that would be too hard. Not like it fucks shit up. Um. Well, they fixed an issue that made it so the killer could body block access to the basement in, or sorry, the basement in the main building in the junkyard. They also made it, uh, who cares? cares about that one that one's just useless a bunch of glyph stuff here's another broken one that uh <laughs> is actually kind of well i wouldn't say broken i'll get to the broken one after this fixed an issue that could cause the hatch to sometimes spawn inside of the basement <laughs> You have no idea how funny that is. You imagine your friend get hooked, or hooked, oh my god, hooked in the basement, and then you're the last one alive, and the hatch spawns in the basement where your friend just died. <laughs> I mean, they deserve roasted. I knew that was going to get used. Uh, the hooketh in the basement. Yes. <laughs> um. Now here's the kicker. We all would love this one. Except she would also hate it if it was against her. Fixed an issue that caused Jigsaw's annotated plan add-on to remove 30 seconds from the reverse bear trap timer instead of 10 when the last generator is completed. Basically, you would be Fucked. That is a nasty bug. <laughs> yes, like Jane be hooked. This shouldn't come as a surprise, honestly. Uh, let's see. Fixed an issue that may cause survivors to be unable to exit some lockers when against the trickster. Joy. Uh, who cares about that? Who cares about that? Who cares about some of these ones? There's audio issues. But some of these have been in the game for a while and they haven't bothered to do shit with them. Like Billy revving his chainsaw, the sound effect doesn't continue for the entire duration of it. That has been in the game for months and months and months. And now they're just getting to it. They should fix it on Bubba too. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's just sync issues with voices on characters. Who cares? That's not a big deal. 
Who cares about that one? Oh god, that would kill me. Oh no, that would murder me. Fixed an issue where in some rare instances, some killer's blood web sound would be stuck in an infinite loop. Fuck that. I'd quit. I'd alt that for the game. I would not be able to deal with that. Oh no. Here is a, another bad one. Um, here. Will it even show it is the question. Okay. There is a reason that this cosmetic set is disabled right now. It is a very bad reason. Uh, if people run the outfit, it will crash everybody's game. Who hits that lobby? That's bad. Uh, they have another issue with Rancor. I don't know if that's been kill switched or not. Uh, where the perk activates when the hatch is closed regardless of how many generators were left. Wait, Lex got kill switched? What? Lex is crashing games? Hello? Do tell. They also have a thing which spine chill is kind of bugged, where the terror radius feedback on spine chill functions in reverse. It drains as the terror radius gets louder instead of filling up. <laughs> wow. You would think that, you know, high res would go and cut them off. What? No. I have to say, it's hilarious that this is crashing people's games. <laughs> God. Oh, no. Okay, I have to say this. Don't look at it in the store. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it just cracked my fucking game from the store. <laughs> oh, God. Um... <laughs> um I think they might have to kill switch it there too. <laughs> oh shit, I never expected that one. <laughs> oh no. Um <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, they kill switched it, all right. 
it sure killed the game. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's fucking hilarious. I can't believe that. I thought it was just the tipping it, not even I was just looking at it. You're evil. <laughs> I'm not clicking it again. <laughs> oh, that is fucking hilarious. Oh, man. I noticed, um, because I had clicked it, obviously. And then I went back. As it was trying to move, it stuttered, and it's like, did it just crash? And then the game's just gone and crash report. Note to self, do not click Feng Min's outfit even in the store. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, that. That's, uh. Wow. I never would have guessed it did it, even in the store. That is fucking hilarious. It really is. Ah, damn. I don't want to play Crackhead. <laughs> oh, man. Also, I just realized something. Um, holy crap, can I get going on a tangent when I am reading their updates and saying just what is... Ignore that. I didn't want to do that. Fuck you. I need to disable that button. Um. I can definitely get going. Yep. I accidentally hit the fucking screenshot button as I'm trying to wipe off my keyboard. <laughs> uh, I can really get on a tangent when I'm bitching about their updates and saying stuff that's good, bad, and then they're bugs that are quite literally game killing here's looking at you fang looking at you holy shit uh. <laughs> it's not like it was an hour and a half doing that or anything i know we didn't really get the fucking salt then again i played like shit The salt was from us roasting behavior for their incompetency. There we go. That works too. <laughs> oh god. But I will say, if I'm gonna go for salt nights again, um... I have to not be as bad of a fucking potato as I was tonight. <laughs> then again, I was playing killers that I haven't fucking put time into in a very long time. 
So I was sucking, admittedly. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll have to play Killer more if I'm gonna do the Salt Knights again. But I also haven't really been, you know, too invested in DVD. Mainly because shit has been redundant as all hell. It's... How can I put this? Everybody always using the same perks over and over again, whether they be survivor or killer. Uh, it's boring. Flat out. It's just boring to deal with. Like, hey, look, everybody's using boom bullshit. Get hard. DS. Other things that help with the nonsense. And then killers. Look, it's hey, look, they've got scourge hooks. They've got corrupt. And it's all they fucking use. So it gets boring. It made and makes the game, um, quite honestly, feel like it's repetitive. When, of all things, uh, due to everything, like all factors in the game, this game should not feel repetitive. The statistics or statistically you are never going to have the exact same game twice due simply to the amount of people who play it the perks that they choose to run the killers and the that are being played the map that you get and the survivors that are being played on the, as well you are statistically never going to have the same match and yet with how everything was and is admittedly still a bit it felt like you were having the same match on repeat the entire fucking time yeah like here's the thing like High Top uh, said earlier on his stream, the game, due to the nature of it, I'm going to piss Survivor Mains off here, and I don't really give a crap. Um, by its very nature, should be killer-sided. Not too much, because you want survivors to still be able to win and play. Because if you don't win, you're not going to have fun, and you're not going to want to play it more. So, it should be like a 55-45 kind of deal, or a 60-40 kind of deal in the killer side. You want the killers to have the power in this kind of game. You want them to have that oh shit factor again, and yet, the game doesn't have that. Even with with this update um certain things still feel extremely lopsided and I can't say in a good way because I haven't put enough uh time into the game for the update or in a bit Exactly, it's way too survivor-sided. Thank you, Allie. Like... Okay, I know it is impossible to balance the game for full stacks of grouped friends. Or even three stacks of grouped friends who are trying to win. It is impossible to balance around it. But... They need to do something to fix it in a way that 
it works it's like the game still works and it's playable but the kill in a way that the killer doesn't just get hey look all five gens are done in a matter of one person being chased because anytime you leave that person to be chased uh, chase another one the other one instantly knows you're coming after them and they leave and the survivor who was being chased gets on the gen or whatever that the other person was on there is no way to combat that really in a way that makes it fair for solo survivors like a group of solo survivors to then play because if they'd have to buff the killers to combat that and then solo people would just get steamrolled for example like a new survivor against a 2000 hour nurse player you're gonna move five feet and you're gonna be dead that and they do it way too quickly without fucking thinking even still and there's a very good reason i say this if we look uh when freddy came out that long ass time ago freddy was very strong when he came out was he broken oh fuck no but he was very strong survivors bitched moaned complained and screamed until a week after he was released he got nerfed into the fucking ground for two and a half years into what he is or was and then they left him after his buff for a good couple months to you know get the gist of things and see if he's you know decent and then they buffed his at or not buffed they nerfed him again to where you never fucking see him anymore. Like, yeah, his add-ons paired with certain perks were disgustingly strong and would make a match go for 40 minutes, which nobody wants. So you nerf those add-ons, not the killer itself. Ugh. Uh, I can't remember which add-ons it was they were, but it was like the slowdown add-ons. No, wait, yes I can. It's the jump ropes. These, if they were, if like the jump ropes, the swing chains, uh, and I can't remember what other add-ons. If the survivor was asleep, it slowed shit down. So you nerf those. You don't nerf the killer. Yes, they nerfed them, but they also nerfed Freddy at the same time. Like, that's not how you do it. I don't care what some dumbass thinks on Flatter or Reddit. It's ridiculous. Also, because of this music, I can't put this on YouTube. For the VOD. Because I will get copyright stricken. So VOD has to get deleted. <laughs> or just left to expire. Actually, I just realized that if I played BBD for the entire time that this Attack uh, on Titan background is up, I can't put them on YouTube. that music is 100% copyrighted. Uh, oh well. I just put VODs up anyway. Exactly. I think because that's what they're attempting to do here. But with some things, they have miserably failed it. Like, there's no way to properly balance this game. And it shouldn't be properly balanced. Sorry, but it shouldn't. 
it should always be slightly in the favor of the killer for the simple fact that they're the killer going up against four people who can be spread around the map and, you know, doing everything at once, pretty much. And they don't have a good way to punish that aspect if they're the underpowered side of the game. So, for example, look at... Ah, here's a good example here, really. Look at twins. Yes, they're actually a good example for this. Twins doesn't really have that power. The power of the twins is camping. Literally, that is what their power is, basically. And how they're going to get a lot of kills. Then, if you... They manage to get the end game, and it's not many people. You can have... Uh, uh, fuck, what's the sister's name? I can never remember. Uh, you can have... Her, uh, standing at one of the exit gates and then you can use Victor and run around at the other exit gate and you would they would never get out especially if you've already found and closed the hatch if it's one person if it's two people you can still just do the same fucking thing she is weak and they they need to figure out a way to make it where the weak killers are better without making it so the killers that are nurse or in now really uh dredge because he is fairly strong due to the fact that he can teleport to lockers instantly, basically. Uh, where they're not overly strong. Same with Hag. If she has certain add-ons, she can teleport across the fucking map. But you have to know how to use her to be good with it. They have to make it where... The other killers are enjoyable, but don't get stomped. But also don't have it where they completely steamroll. Like, if there's a very good nurse, you're not going to win. There's a reason there has never been another character like nurse in the game. And for the simple fact for, of that is nurse um ignores pretty much all survivor functions of self-defense and running and looping away. Oh look, you drop a pallet to try and get away from her or stun her. Shh. If you stun her, no matter how far you get, if she's a good nurse, she could teleport back onto you like that. Instantly. And hey, look, you lose line of sight, but she can still hear you? She can just teleport on you through the walls. Or she can teleport up through floors and down through the floors at the same time. You... She is very, very strong. But it's also why she's the best killer in the game. Oh, exactly. I agree on that. It's kind of like uh, Smite. It's impossible to balance it. Simply because that game has a... It takes a shitload of skill. And you can't balance around 120-something characters. All having the option of like 60 different items. Give or take. And then you throw in relics and you know, potions and shit like that. It's 
It's like, it's great. But at the same time, for new people, it can be extremely frustrating. Which is why it actually still goes to here. Where they can balance it, kind of, to an extent. By strengthening the weak killers. Make them fun to play as. And fun to go against. But not overly strong. Where they are now hated to go against and they just flatten everything the best example for the most balanced character in the game and this isn't biased by the way just because i love the character is michael myers exactly go crazy Experiment, experiment with things, see what works and what doesn't, and go off of that. Not just change and stick with it. But the reason I say, and I, I think a lot of people will say it, honestly, that Michael Myers and the perks are the most balanced in the game since he has been released, by the way. And he came out before Huntress, no matter what this thing shows. He was the fifth character in the game and the first major freaking DLC to it as well. Because he came out in October of 2016. When the game got, uh, or like just after the game and, you know, fully released. Not fully released. It was still in beta. Technically. Ah. Uh, and here's why I say it. He, if you know how to play him, and you know how to properly get his power going, you can easily crush opponents who don't know how to go against him. But if people know how to go against him, it will be a very fair fight. And then, his perks. His perks are the only thing that I have to bitch about him. I mean, yes, they're fun. But, have you read his perks? The reason I say that... They do not go well together. Oh, his add-ons are fucking amazing. I love it. His perks do not go together at all. Save the best for last. Hit everybody except for your obsession to gain stacks. Okay? Play with your food. Chase your obsession to gain stacks. But you cannot hit them, otherwise you lose stacks and save the best for last. Dying Light. Hook the people to gain stacks on it. Uh, but you also want to try and hook your obsession at the same time, but you also don't. Because if your obsession dies, all those stacks are gone. Uh, good luck with that, bro. Because your obsession gets a bonus of all fucking things for everything they do if there's dying light. But everybody else gets the penalty of 3% per stack. You can have, let's see, it's up to 12 hooks. Uh, you can have 36% penalty. No, you can't. You can have a 24% penalty. Because the, no, 27% because the last hook on... Uh, 
the obsession, yeah. But either way, hit the survivors, but not your obsession. Chase your obsession, but don't hit them. Or anybody, for that matter. Because if you hit them, you're going to lose a stack of the play with your food. It's stupid. His perks do not go together. But overall, yes, he is the most balanced killer in the game. And he has been since he came out. At least you guys have things that can help knock you out. <laughs> on that note though <clears throat> I have been ranting about this game and updates and stuff for balancing and all that other shit for like two fucking hours <laughs> no I went through the entire update list for stuff because I can I don't have enough hours in this game. I know shit. That's all I've basically done for the last two hours. <clears throat> Bubba is a meme for his own reasons. And he's a basement goblin. If you go to the basement while he is down there, do not expect to get out. Mikey boy, he's not the best meme lock in the game. <laughs> homework is don't get addicted to this game it's only gonna rot your soul if you have one and if you don't have a soul well then just go play nurse because everybody objects to going against her even though they're a fucking bitch or even though they are a bitch play against nurse it's fun you get stomped good suffer if you don't get stomped by the nurse well, then the nurse needs to get good and they can suck. <laughs> I fucking can't sit on this page. <laughs> I have to be the smart ass. I have to do it. Extra credit is going to click on that thing, Minskin. I'm going to do it just to show bro. I know the what it does. I know what it does, but I have to do it. <laughs> hey, bro, guess what? Now if I do this... <laughs> it crashes your game. It's kill switched. And even if you click it in the store, it crashes your fucking game. <laughs> as long as you are on the skin and don't try to leave it, you're fine. <laughs> That's one way to close the game. <laughs> Oh, that's that is still hilarious, by the way. It <laughs> the best part is I think it's a linked skin, so you can't even change anything. No, it's not. It's not a linked skin. It's one of their uh Greek god skins. <laughs> but if you click it and try to leave the skin, it crashes your game completely. <laughs> And if you're in a match, or like in a lobby with it, excuse me, sorry, it will crash everybody else's game too. <laughs> they broke it so fucking bad. It's literally a game crashing skin. <laughs> If only it was Hera. It's Athena. 
warrior goddess. Go figure. She's such a warrior. She closes your fucking game and defeats it. Get wrecked. <laughs> they really did. Anyway, <laughs> that was quite literally almost a two-hour rant on their stuff, because they fucked shit up massively. Oh, yeah, bro, you were asleep for this part, so I have to say it again. Uh, they had a, or they have, or had? I can't remember. I don't want to look again. A bug where... um. Legacy skins, uh, if you opened the game during the start of this patch, you would lose them. Now guess what has been fixed and people have their legacy skins back. Guess who else doesn't have their legacy skins back? Every motherfucker who had it a long ass time ago and they said couldn't be given back. Huh? Huh? Fuck you behavior, clearly you can. They're just too fucking lazy. Oh, this one's going to make you laugh, though. No, I don't. Uh, this one is going to make you laugh. So, I'm pretty sure they just admitted that they added bots to their game. <laughs> I wish, Jinx. That would be hilarious. Uh, this one, I need to find... Uh, hold on. No, it's not that one. Okay, here it is. Because they're not going to put mobile updates in with the big boy updates for like switch xbox playstation and pc because it's a whole other developer team um and i keep my mind or my memory might be a little bit spotty but i don't think they have flashlight bots in the tutorial uh, but here's a bug that they admit to, and for what it says, I'm pretty sure they actually added them. It says, fixed an issue that caused survivor bots to toggle their flashlights rapidly. Those fuckers added bots to the main game from the sounds of it, which would fucking explain half of my teammates. I mean, what? Anyway, I've quite literally been ranting about two hours now. <laughs> they are fodder, but they're also not good fodder. They've attempted it for, like, smartening up their tutorial bots a bit, and they legitimately have NPC bots for teammates on mobile. So, I really wouldn't be surprised, but I'm pretty sure they admitted to it finally. Um, but yeah, I have rented just shy of two hours. I'm going to end that there. What, Thursday now, I think? I'm not playing this cursed game again. Not tonight. I can't handle more of this game.
I mean, this wouldn't be surprised. How often do zombies target specific people? Especially people who talk shit about them. I really wouldn't be surprised. And it doesn't surprise me. Anyway, I will probably be on Apex or Siege. Technically tonight, I guess. Or Origins, or I don't fucking know, because whoever fucking knows with me. I can never decide until like five minutes beforehand. Hey, hey. Uh, I will be on or around Discord, though, as I typically am. I hope you guys enjoyed this fucking rant stream, which it became instead of the salt stream because I'm a fucking potato with killer right now to not having played with the uh, Yeah. I will be on or around Discord. To be fair, a lot of things do, especially in the last few months, because, well, you know, shit has not been good, and anybody who is in the Discord or follows me on Twitter knows. Um, that's also why I'm not streaming Friday, because it's been a year. That sucks. That yeah, really fucking sucks. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I will be on around Discord. So I hope you guys enjoyed quite literally the rant stream at this point. Because that's more of what I did than anything else. Uh... Bye-bye.